Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a little something different. We're getting back into the woodworking here. So we're going to do another little project and uh, we're going to start it off. So I got a walnut slab that was uh, given to me by a family friend asking me to uh, turn it into a shelf for him. So we got a little bit of prep work that we got to do and um, this progress will have a couple different videos to it. Um, especially since, you know, those of you that know that are subscribed to the channel and watch the videos know that uh, I can only do so much on my phone. I don't really hold so much recording, so uh, we'll go until it gets shut off. But, um, so basically I got this walnut slab that was given to me, uh, like I said, to turn into a shelf. And what I'm going to do with that is uh, get it all prepped up to um, do what I need to do. So first of all, there's the slab that was given to me. So it's four feet uh, by about nine inches. Nice piece of walnut, as you can see. What we have is uh, this crack split here and a couple little holes that we cleaned out uh, that we filled in. So what we're gonna do to fill it in is we're gonna do some epoxy pour inside there to tighten it all up, uh, fill in the holes and the voids. Uh, that way there I can plan it down, sand it up, and uh, get it ready to put a nice just uh, butcher block coat of oil on it uh, just to bring out the, the wood. He wants a nice natural finish to it. So what I have is um, some moss deep pour. Uh, Clear casting epoxy resin. That's a three to one, so three parts, one part. And as you can see, we got the mix all. Uh, comes with a bunch of different colors and stuff to it. Um, this one I chose black. So we added black to it because this is gonna stain up and be pretty dark when it's done because it's a walnut. So with that clear finish on it, it'll bring that nice dark, uh, walnut color out to it and um, I think that black uh, not too dark of a black uh, will definitely set up and be a good contrast with it so as you can see I started mixing and got my resin ready and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pour this into the cracks and some of the voids um, to fill it up so let me move these bottles here and get those out of the way. And you can see the whole thing is actually pretty, uh, pretty nice board. So just a couple little areas. So what we're gonna do is we'll fill that in. So hopefully my tape stays on the other side and it doesn't make a total mess. And we'll spread some of this out, make sure it's getting into the crack and into the groove. And again, hopefully it's not coming through on the bottom. Um, sometimes the tape leaks and it makes a big mess. So that's why the epoxy sometimes is kind of a pain in the ass because I'm not really set up too well uh, just yet to uh, really do these molds and stuff. Oh, excuse me. So we got a little knot right here. Just want to get a little something on it. Just like that. And we got a spot there that we got. So 
So I'm going to spread this into the crack here. And uh, man, I hope that's not going to leak out on the bottom. I said I got it all taped off in there. Um, so we're going to fill it up a little bit more. Like I said, we really want it to fill in that crack. So, and that looks like it's filling up pretty good. I think we might need a little more up here. So hopefully, it is going to go and it's going to set up. So, what this does is two different things. One, like I said, it fills in the crack um, so that you end up having a nice uh, solid. Base tripping over my bucket a nice solid uh, flat surface um, and you don't have the crack and everything um, to what it does is it really bonds it back together too so that later on um, this board won't continue to crack and uh, you know this vein won't work its way down so hopefully it'll stay and um, it won't leak out and make a total mess because uh, my father gets pissed when I get it all over the floor and in the garage. <laughs> um, then we're going to clean it up. So I did one before and it actually it was a stain that dripped on the table that I was doing on the last one. The stain ended up dripping all over the damn place. Um, but hopefully this, like I said, is going to uh, set pretty nice. And um, doesn't leak out and make a damn mess all over everything. And we're going to let that set all up. I uh, probably won't be ready till tomorrow because the stuff does take a while to dry. Um, and then after that, we can run it through the planer. Uh, sand it down to where it needs to get sanded. And um, go from there and see what we got. So, thanks for watching this video. And again, like, subscribe, share. Let's grow this channel and um, see what else we can do. And we'll have a couple other videos coming up too. Uh, I know it's been maybe about a week, week and a half since the last video. Uh, you know, we were on vacation. You guys have followed the channel, saw some of the videos we posted from vacation. So uh, uh, Vincent was starting school this week. So it was kind of a busy week. Um, so we didn't really get to do much um, of the videos and, and things like that so uh, there wasn't really too much going on other than uh, you know just ending the summer and uh, getting ready for the school year and uh, you know just different things like that which I'm sure you all were doing so anyways thanks for joining me with this and um, please continue to watch like share subscribe uh, we'll keep growing the channel and uh, we'll keep adding some different content bounce around from different daily life activities uh, different things like that and um, now that school's starting uh, some more woodworking videos so thanks a lot and we'll see you soon